Hello my crafty friend and happy Lun Fun release day. I am so excited to get into these goodies. So if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I post about paper crafting and one of my favorite brand is Lun Fun. I love them. Yes. And <laughs> uh, if you order some for Lun Fun, then bless you because they are an awesome company to support. So let's get into this haul. Now, um, some of you guys may not know this, but I am a wholesaler for Lime Fun because I do host card classes here in Atlanta, Georgia. So the box is just a little bit different in the packaging. So uh, if you're wondering why your Lime Fun stuff doesn't come like this, you know, that's why. All right, so let's move the box over and open it up. Woo! Let's open it up. All right, so first off, let's start with the papers. I love Lime Fine papers. So I purchased three of the collections, and I purchased them in the um, 12 by 12s and in the 6 by 6 petite packs. I love the petite packs for when I'm making cards, but I do love the 12 by 12 for when I'm doing scrapbook layouts and sometimes cards if I want like a larger scale of the print on here so I have the speckles the spring fling and the really rainbow paper pads now I'm gonna show you how these look using the 12 by 12 because it's bigger and they're out all right so let's slot that over right there so first up look at this look at this we have this blue and yellow very nice and that's called mermaid's tail then we have this like aqua color and here's that one is called sea serpent isn't that nice next we have this nice green love the pink i love let me just say i love pink and green like it just reminds me of roses um if i could go back and redo college all over again i would pledge um so i could you know be official pink and green but i'm not since i'm not officially pink and green uh with the sororities i'm just gonna be pink and green in my craft room because these colors are so cute i love it so here is the back side and this one is called dragon scales then we have a yellow print so nice these scallops are really cute and this one is called sphinx and next we have boo -boo, Phoenix Feather, which is really nice. It's like a coral like red. It's not like a fire engine red, but it's so cute. Then we have pink. And this print, like scallops for some reason just make me happy. Like, I don't know, it just make me smile for some reason. I think this is so cute. And on the back of this one, we have a rainbow. And this one is Unicorn Mane. So that is so cute. Next, we are into the speckles. And first, we have Blueberry Smoothie. How cute is that? Next, we have this blue. And I love this, like this just makes me for some reason speckles just make me think of easter i don't know why maybe it's because of like dying easter eggs or something but i i just love it and this one is called robin's egg so really cute look at this i love this i love the speckles and like i'm usually not really into like speckles and stuff like that but i love this this is called sea foam Next up, we have a white and a green color. And this one is Pesto. Look at that. Love this golden speckle. And this one is Ripe Banana. All right, let's go to the next one, which is a pinky strawberry frosting. That's what it's called. Y'all off topic completely off topic but i had some strawberry cake yesterday when i tell y'all that thing was good it was good <laughs> no, it has nothing to do with the video but that just made me think about that cake i had and now i just really want some strawberry cake <laughs> all right let's keep going um so this paper has like a cross print on it so it's like it's hand drawn 
and it's on a diagonal too so let's zoom back out so you can see all right and ooh, that is nice i love the color gray and yellow together. This is really, really cute. And this one is called Carolina, spelled with K. <laughs> and we have the green. And this one is called Christy. Oh, this, that's so cute. These are named out there, um, some of the Lawn Fun staff. So that's cute. I love that. I love this. Love this color. This is so me, y'all. I love yellow. Um, you probably wouldn't think it by coming in my craft room because everything is pink, gold, and like blues colors. But uh, I do love yellow. Like I love, love yellow. Um, even my car is yellow. Like yeah, I drive a yellow truck. All right. So this one is Rachel. Next we have the pink. And this is Debbie. That's so cute. We have Julia. Look at this. I love these colors. And I love the I love the idea of Lawn Fun naming their products after their staff. Like when you work in an environment and you have like your company invested in you like that, I think it's a really beautiful thing. That's what I really love about small businesses, that they can do stuff like that. And this is like rainbow print, and I love this one, and this is Rebecca. So how cute are these papers? Yummy, yummy, yummy. Can't wait to play with those. They are so cute. All right, so we're going to sit that to the side, and we're going to move on to the next we are going, so since this is the spring collection, um, or the spring release, everything is like springtime. So first up, we are headed to the garden to be with the gnomes. Oh, no. And um, that is the name of this stamp set. And I think it's so cute. It has like little gnomes and mushrooms and they have the wheelbarrow. This would go really well with the fairy friends and the gleeful garden stamp set. You can use all those and, you know, just create a whole little village. This is so cute. And it has like little sayings on there like, oh, gnome. Sorry, I forgot. Oh, gnome, you didn't. I love that. Um, you're sick right there with a question mark and we have happy birthday and you also have happy belated in there and it has two uh and then it has your uh the exclamation point that they are known for and it has friends like gnome other and then you have there's gnome and then you have the little heart you have place like home so you can put those two together. One like you. So you can go, there's no one like you. Um, we have, I have so mushroom. And you can do that with in my heart for you. And I think that's so funny. <laughs> um, and then you have thanks so mush. And you can also do thanks so um, you know, well no, thank not thanks so much room. That one makes sense. All right, so those are the ones that you have. And as if having little uh, gnomes around, you know, wasn't a, cute enough, they came out with this mushroom house, y'all, and I, like, completely lost it. Like, this is, I'm gonna have so much fun with this. So you can make your own little houses. You can make a house-shaped card with this. You can make a little house and create, like, a little village and a jar. You can do so much with this. Here's an example of how... It looks um, with the, uh, what do you call this thing, um, on the back of here. But here's an example of a card with it. How cute is this? So we have the little mushroom house, and then we have the gnomes from this stamp um, set. And this door opens, like... You can open the door so you can tuck little stuff in there if you want to. This card doesn't call for the door to be open, but there's, um, you know, the possibility of doing it. And the sentiment says, you're a friend like gnome other, which I think that's so cute. They use that um, scallop paper as the sky. Look how cute that is. And they use some of their clouds, but this is just so 
cute like think about all the things you can make and bringing me up to the next one uh the next thing i purchased they have the mushroom border here so this is how they created that using um this border right here for the grass and then they stamped out the mushrooms with those now when you have this die set you can also just cut out the mushrooms and then use the other part to make their different colors so i love the gnome theme this release so cute love 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 it love it love it love it <laughs> in keeping with their usual release in february they always have their birthday um stamp set so this is the year nine lund fun has been around for nine years oh my gosh i am uh, like freaked like how did i not know about this company sooner i found out about lund fun probably about four or five years ago but still <laughs> I, was, I wanted to be there at day one because <laughs> these are so cute so um this is like a little taco stamp set and it has let's taco about it um or let's taco about your birthday or you can say let's taco about it so two ways to use that and you have like a little candle you can put on the taco you can put a little face on him they gave him some blush you got a little party hat and i guess that's either cheese or sprinkles i don't know either way it's good <laughs> whether it's cheese or sprinkles you can't go wrong um so this that's this stamp set now i will be giving away one of these stamp sets over on my instagram so if you want to enter to win one of these small stamp sets after this video go over to my instagram page and enter but wait until after the video because this is going to be something that i never do but i have two giveaways going on at the same time yes i do so stick around because I got some more stuff coming up that I'm going to give away and you don't want to miss that. So this is the giveaway number one. I have something else coming up. So hold on. Hold down, y'all. All right. So another mini stamp set that I purchased was the Lama Tell You. Lama Tell You something right now, honey. This stamp set is awesome. <laughs> like, I love llamas. I know it's like super trendy right now, but I love llamas even before they became trendy. I really, really love like three like type like wildlife animals or like farm, I don't know, farm and wildlife because some of these are not wildlife. But I love llamas. They are adorable. I love elephants because they are equally adorable. <laughs> so um, llamas, elephants, and puppies. Oh my gosh. Can't leave out puppies. <laughs> All right, so this stamp set has a little llama on here, and um, it says llama tell you, and then on the, you know, with the dot, 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 how much I like you. So you can mix this with some of your old stamp sets, and it can also say llama tell you, and then it can be happy birthday, I love you, I miss you, it can be anything. So I love this stamp set, and it is so versatile that, you know, you just gotta, you just gotta love it. All right, let's keep moving on. So next up, sticking with the minis. Two mini things that I have are the Reveal Wheel Semicircle add-on and I also purchased the Easter Egg add-on. I love the Reveal Wheel. I've had it for a while and it's awesome. Like, I love the Reveal Wheel. That's all I have to say about it. And these little um, add-ons, they are super cheap, so had to pick them up all right so let's move on with more easter stuff or not easter but um spring because this stamp set is all about spring so we have the graduation hats we have the easter eggs which i love easter uh we have the butterflies we have the clovers we have the sentiment that says have a happy spring we have the helicopter or the uh with the banner and we have the house because 
let's be honest people usually move in the springtime they trying to move around get settled before the kids have to go back to school in the fall and all that stuff so people usually buy a lot of houses in the spring so this stamp set is so perfect for spring and here's an example of some of the things in here especially those little easter eggs um, as you can see, they are really, really cute. You can make a really nice Easter card, but um, I wanted to show you guys that. So this is added or combined with another stamp set, which I am about to pull out right now. Boom. <laughs> so they made this card using the extra amazing Easter stamp set, which I love that name. So we have the bunnies with the little eggs and the basket and the bow. That bow is so cute. We have the little pile of Easter eggs and we have like little chicks and little bunnies little flower clusters and a bow or a tie depending on how you want to put that on your bunny whether you want him to be a boy bunny or a girl bunny we have him something or her something to wear um, have like itty bitty little hearts and stars that you can decorate your eggs with they also have little faces if you want to give your eggs a smile say hey to your eggs and for the sentiments we have happy Easter make your basket be full of joy or may your basket be full of joy not make your basket but may your basket be full of joy and then you can stamp and chocolate <laughs> that's that's me right there like, give me the chocolate give me all the chocolate I just need it all so we have hope it's extra amazing and then you have two somebody special wishing you a fun and you can do um easter or you can do wishing you a fun day so it's really cool i love this stamp set and how cute is this car it did use a couple of things i've shown you already so the it the easter eggs came from the simply celebrate spring stamp set and then of course the bunnies and chocolates and all that came from here but they used the spackle paper to make this card extra pretty. And when I say they, I mean Lime Fine. <laughs> uh, Lime Fine created this card. One of the perks of having a um, wholesale account is that they give you samples so that you can display in your shop or in your classes. Um, and that's how I display mine in my classes. And... Um, you know, it's just so people can see the merchandise and order through me um, if they want to purchase more stuff after the class in. But the cool thing about my class is they leave with a full stamp set. They usually don't need anything. I like to give everything. So when people come to my classes, they leave with like a stamp set. They have their papers. They have everything they need to go home and make even more cards after we have made what we've created in the class all right so let's keep it moving all right so next we have the butterfly kisses stamp set which is just too adorable like this is one of my favorites actually all of them are my favorites i, I really couldn't choose one but i love this one i love the ones with the little critters i am a critter lover i love little animals but i love the fox and um, I love all the fox that Lime Fun. They have a lot of foxes throughout their stamp sets. And um, I love this fox. Like, he's so cute. And let's look at an example that you can make. So, we have the little fox. And it says, open me. And look at that. We have a butterfly. So, I didn't purchase the butterfly card. But look how cute this is. Like... You can catch your own butterfly and it sits out like that. So cute. But I love this little fox chasing the butterflies. I think it's so cute. All right. And also in this stamp set, other than the fox, we have some clouds. We have the little, uh, like, butterfly route in a heart and, and little circles and all that stuff we have butterflies of course we have a little bear and a bunny some grass and some little flowers and you have faces if you want to give your clouds a face you could um you could get a butterfly net a face if you want to so it's up to you <laughs> and for the sentiments you have you make my heart flutter and then we also have you make me happy. You can do it that way. You are in my thoughts. You have sinning, love. You can have to do sinning butterfly kisses. 
fluttering by to say hi you can do fluttering by to say thank you you can say do fluttering by to say i miss you and you can do fluttering by to say have a happy day or you can just do have a happy day so they gave us a lot of options with the sentiments for this and i think this card is so cute i cannot wait to craft with that card so so cute all right so let's keep moving let's keep moving 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 i have the rainy backdrop and i got it in the portrait size i usually make portrait cards so i always go with portrait whenever i am trying to figure out what i want to get portrait is usually my first choice because i love portrait and i have the little stitch umbrella and I think it's cute as well. And let's see. They gave us examples on the back. Not on this one. But on this one, you can see you can make a card using the umbrella and the little die that creates the raindrops. So I purchased that because who doesn't need raindrops and umbrellas? Like, we all need that. All right. So another die that I purchased was the tiny gift box chick and duck add-on so you can add on the little chick and the duck and here is an example of how that look how cute is that you can put little treats in there or you can just stack them up on your office i think it's cute you can also make cards out of these if you don't have the um if you don't have the the actual box you can make a card out of this if you want to so i had to purchase it i just had to i had no choice you know, sometimes your money just spins and you're like, whoa, money don't spin. And it's like, bye, girl. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, I'll stop that line. <laughs> All right, so next up, we have the Get Well Before and After stamp set. And I thought this was, was really cute. I really haven't made many Get Well cards, so I had to get this stamp set when I saw it. I thought it was so cute. Had the little turtle walking in on his back we have the whale with the ice pack and the thermometer then we have one with him all well we have the little chick with the broken arm then we have him that's all well and we have a pill bottle a band-aid we have like the little patch x type bandages as well have like a little medic plus sign we have sending get well then you have well soon so you can say get well soon if you want to um and then you have i'm here for you you can do sending hugs and then you can do feel better um and you can also do feel better well soon that would be cute hope you're back on your feet soon so that would go with that one that's funny and it says when your world feels upside down <laughs> again for the little uh turtle the little turtle to me is just too cute um we have wishing you a smooth fast recovery so you have a lot of options with this stamp set and it's perfect to go with their new interactive die which is the magic picture changer so i purchased that and i purchased the magic picture add-on um and what I love about these is that they create cards that are interactive, like this one that says, after the storm, there is a rainbow and we have some clouds with the rain and it's sad. It's so sad, but the rainbow comes. So I love this. It's so cheerful. And I mean, who wouldn't like this when they're having a, a hard time? Or, you know, if you don't want to make a get well soon card, you don't have to, it can be anything. But I wanted to get the um, little Get Well Soon add-on. Now, there were some stamp sets that I didn't um, buy at the time. And I regret it now. <laughs> so, I probably have another Lund Fun haul coming out pretty soon. Who knows? But before I let you go, I wanted to tell you about the second giveaway. Do you can you guess what it is can you guess what it is it's some die sets you can make your own magic changer die magic picture changer die <laughs> uh i didn't write that song out before i started singing it uh i made it up on the fly 
I'm awesome like that. But you guys, I did want to give you the opportunity to win a die set. I wanted to give you something big this time um, with the giveaways, just as a token of my appreciation for being so supportive and leaving me comments and likes and all that jazz. And it is greatly appreciated and you guys, it just really makes my heart smile. And I hope this is an opportunity that I can make one of you guys smile because you're awesome. So for this giveaway, you have to do three things. First up, be a subscriber on my YouTube channel. Go ahead and hit the red button if you haven't done so. And then hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post videos. They'll just come tell you gently Trinae has posted another craft video come on and watch they don't say it quite like that but you get the idea the second thing you must do is leave me a comment in the comment section below you must do this you must you must you must <laughs> leave a comment you can say what's your favorite thing from the release or you can just say i want to win the die you can make it up you can drop some emojis it's all up to you boo what you say in the comments but keep it respectful because it's the right thing to do all right and the third thing that you must do is you must go to becomingfab.com slash giveaway Click on the button that says, I want to win and fill out the form. I am going to contact the winner via the email address that they put in that form. The reason why I'm doing my giveaways like this is because there are some yucky people out there who try to come up on giveaways that other people have won and I had somebody reach out to me and pretended to be the person um, of a giveaway and they were not and that's not cool so I want to make sure that the give that the um, prize is going to the right person and um, not to some phony baloney that's just trying to come up on something that's right Trine got your back I'm gonna protect my crafty friends because that's what we have to do so that is the three steps that you need to do to enter to win this magic picture changer stamp set now all of those details will be posted below so you don't have to worry about trying to remember it just follow the steps in the comment section and you'll be great you'll be excellent oh i wanted to move this out the way so a couple of other things from the release that i didn't purchase um but i think i'm going to go back it's the little pea stamp set when i was looking at it i was like i don't know about it but now i really wish i would have got it because i think they're these peas are really cool i think they look amazing so this says happy birthday and you got yippee and i just think it's so cute all right yeah okay so that's it for me today you guys thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video so make sure you subscribe i will see you in the next video happy crafting